Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers, of course, to the channel. Um, I have a quick unboxing for you today of a budget knife from, best I can tell, is Citivine. I think that's how you say it. But Amazon, either Amazon or the Citivine put huge piece of paper or piece of tape around it. I don't know whether it's Amazon or if this is just how they ship their knives with the big old piece of paper. But we're going to get into this right away. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you like the, like the video and hit the bell button and all that good stuff. I'm not going to press you for it. So please do that. I appreciate it very much. Don't forget to check out my links in the description. This knife will be in the description. So let's get going. So for the unboxing, I'm going to be using the Citivine 302. Hopefully I've already released that video, but here's that one. And just, just a little quick note for you guys. I wish it had jimping on the flipper tab. Other than that, this is turning out to be a pretty good knife. All right, so let's see how this one is going to be. Do, 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 do. I love unboxing knives. I could do this all day long. All right, so here's your sticker. Citivine ST301 folding knife, 14C28N steel, yeah. Blade micarta, blade, oh, st steel blade, micarta handle, flipper, pocket knife, EDC tool knife for outdoor camping, hiking, survival, army green, new item. Oh, okay, new item. Let's see what it looks like. Um, for your packaging, this has the same as the last one. It's a piece of, I don't know, it's, it's kind of like the consistency of like, what you use to clean your glasses with and it's just like they cut a square out of out of a, a big piece so there's that and here is the knife okay all right i'm liking liking the shape of it already so there's this side if you want to take a look and here is the clip side here's the back side and this comes with a uh, lanyard and this one has a uh, barrel spacer in there. I like when they do that so it doesn't take away from the aesthetics of the knife. That's pretty cool. Let's get into it some more here. Um, looks like we've got T8, T6 is for the hardware, T6 is over here too. Um, screws everywhere, not too bad. Um, got a, got a non-rotating pivot, so I like that. That's pretty cool. Always like it when I don't have to put uh, hardware on both sides to undo them so that that's pretty cool to undo them or just disassemble Ooh, we gotta is this gonna be functional let's take a look at the blade oh okay now that's more my speed i'm like i like that that's pretty cool now you, you can if you can tell the the st is has green in it can you see right there it's kind of green I don't know if that's on all of their knives or not. I haven't looked at enough of them to know if that's the case. But that's a pretty cool looking blade. If you want to take a screenshot, here's this side. And here's this side. So pretty cool so far. You can get these knives on uh, Amazon for about 30 bucks. And it's 14C28N. So what I'm going to do is I don't know the measurements of this knife because they're not really listed and I don't trust what websites say. So I am going to, after the end of this video, I'm going to do all the measurements and then I'll come in and pop that part right about Now here. I'm going to do the specs for you real quick. That way you know what you're working with. So the weight is 3.47 ounces. That's not too bad. And I just did all the measurements and here they are. So you had a total length of 8.25 inches from tip to tip. Your blade length is 3.47 inches and you had a sharpened length of 3.32 inches. Your blade stock is 0.121. So, you know, it's the standard 0.12. Uh, behind the edge is impressive. It's 0 0.08 until you get to about up here, then it's 0 0.010. So it's eight to 10 thousandths behind the edge. It is nice and sharp. It has good geometry. That's pretty cool. So your handle width from here to here is 1.12 inches and your handle thickness is 0.48 inches. So it's a half an inch. Your closed length from tip to tip is 4.73 inches. And there's your, uh, your back spacer. I already showed you that. And I think the rest is about to happen right about now. All right, so now you guys know more than I do because I'm still standing in the same spot. So let's go from one end to the other. So the finish on this blade looks pretty nice. That's not too bad for billboarding. 
texture wise. Um, you can kind of feel the micarta, but it doesn't really have much, much texture. It's kind of smooth. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's, it's, it's kind of smooth. There's not a whole lot of texture to it. It looks pretty nice. Here's the top side, you got a backspacer there, G10 backspacer. Kind of looks like black micarta. It might be. Here's this side. So there's your pocket clip. It's a it's a deepish carry, but boy, if you got some big old mushrooms hanging out under there, that looks like that might be a pocket edge grabber. Uh, it's not the strongest pocket clip in the other, and don't forget, we're talking about a $30 knife here. Um, you're gonna have a little chunk hanging out from your pocket that's not always the worst thing in the world and you've got this you can have a lanyard on there if you want to so that's not too bad let's see what it looks like inside here our lockup lockup looks pretty good looks like we're about 50 percent there is no no lock stick at all no blade play no lock rock it's nice and solid Okay, that's pretty good. Let's scroll out here and we'll see what the action looks like. Oh, nice. It's got some jimping. The last one I tried didn't have jimping, so this should be a lot better. Oh, uh, it's kind of a weak detent there. <laughs> yep, that's a weak detent. That is something, this will be a knife that I can mess around with and strengthen that detent. So that shouldn't be too bad. I don't mind messing around with a $30 knife to strengthen the detent. Now, so now, now that I know that it has a weak detent, if you push button it, yeah, knowing that it does that, I can get it to pop out really well now. But can this be middle finger flicked? Yes, very easily. I like that. Look at that. 30 bucks, 14C28N, micarta. The action's really well. Deployment works well as long as you know that it has a weak detent. And you're used to it that that's not an issue either you're not a detent diva um look at our blade here is this choke upable uh yeah you can choke up on it um it's it's a little little uh not sharp but it's a little angled here but you can definitely choke up if you want to do some cutting like that um as far as ergos you definitely get in some good uh utility cutting with it that's not going to be a problem you could pinch open it which is nice i really like Open a knife like that, so you can pinch open it. Middle finger flick is a breeze. So the action's pretty good. As far as the ergos, um, from here to here on my hand is about four inches. From here to here is three and a half. And from right here, this line, to my middle finger is seven and a quarter inches. That gives you an idea of my hand size. And here it is in my hand. It's uh, pretty comfortable. I'm not getting any hot spots. Nothing seems to be bothering me right off the bat. Um, there's no jimping, no jimping up top here. This is all smooth. But I'm able to get a really good purchase on the handle. So the handle's comfortable. The ergos are pretty good. I don't think I'm going to have any issues with cutting or anything. I'm kind of liking it. That's not too shabby. It's a pretty nice looking blade shape too. We feel very sharp. Feels kind of sharp. Doesn't feel too bad. That actually feels kind of impressive. Huh, look at there. Took hair off my arm. That's pretty good. So you got a sharp knife. It's got 14 C28 in. The only downside that I'm seeing right now is just it has a it has a weak detent. And it's better now. <laughs> it's already improved. Just using it a little bit. So the action, I mean look at that. The the blade drops pretty nicely. Yeah, it's just a little slow. See? It's definitely improved, let's push button it. It's pretty fast. Light switch, pretty fast. Not too bad. Let's see if the centering looks well. How are we centered? So it's a little off, it's a little to the clip side. Just a tad. It's a $30 knife though. I could see us easily getting it back over to where it should be, but it looks like we're a little over on the clip side as far as that. And the lockup's good and this, the last one I the last one I looked up had uh, cage ball bearings. I'm almost positive this one does, and we're gonna double check. So that's pretty good. Not too bad. 
So there's pretty much my take on it. You know what I like, what I don't like. Uh, the detent would be like the only thing ergonomically. There's there's no sharp spots, no hot, hot spots on it. It fits in the hand really well. I don't see there being really much in issue with it. So thanks for, for stopping by, guys. Um, if you're new to knife collecting and you've been collecting for a long time, either one. Stick around, enjoy the journey with me, learn something or teach something, but enjoy the entertainment, if you will. But live life in the present. Keep a Band-Aid handy and don't cut yourself.